Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are going to learn about some flexible widgets. Okay, which help us to resolve such issues whenever our screen is having this error of overflow pixels. Okay, overflow or bottom overflowed pixels. Okay, so first widget is expanded. So using an expanded widget makes a child of row or column expand to fill the available space in the main axis. Okay, or the horizontal for row x, for row widgets, and if multiple children are expanded, the available space is divided among them according to the flex factor. So let's do some practice for better understanding. So just wrap this particular widget with an expanded widget. So here just click on the wrap with widget and give it a name of expanded. Do the same thing for the rest of the images as well. Just wrap it with expanded. And hot reload it. So now as you can see, we have given expanded to two of the widgets of our row. Okay. So according to the number of widgets, now this both image which are having expanded as the parent is having a flex of one. Okay, and this one is having the flex of two. Okay, because it is getting the remaining space of both the widgets. And if I expand, if I wrap this uh, widget as well with the expanded, then all the three widgets will be having will be expanded to fill the available space of the main axis. Okay, so now you can see all three of them is having equal flex factor now if you want to simply um, now if you want to make the center image the large one okay so you can simply use the flex attribute of expanded and make it to 2 now hot reload it so it will be the biggest image similarly if we try the flex factor here to be 3 So now you can see this one is smallest, this one is bigger than the first one and this one is the largest among all of them. Okay, so this is how you can make use of expanded widgets inside your row and column widgets. One thing to keep in mind that you can use expanded widgets only inside a column and rows as child. You can, ne uh, you can never wrap row and column with the expanded okay it is always going to have performance issues and sometime it is going to throw error as well so this was the use of expanded if you want some uh, some of the children stretch and feel the extra space then you should expanded widget okay wrap your children with the expanded widgets so now if let's just simply remove this one okay and let's see what happens so as you can see it will regain its previous size okay instead so while we were using expanded it was dividing the amount of space in between properly in all the children but now it has gained its previous size as well so we will simply wrap it again with the expanded and we are good to go so you can do the same thing inside the column as well so now let uh, let us just copy this three and add it to the column as well okay so now we'll be having six uh, images okay as you can see all are fitted at inside our row widget okay so now we will do the same thing with our column as well so instead of row just change it to column so you can see it has completely filled the available space of our of our screen and placed the items according to the available space okay if you do if you want to change the flex you can change it as well okay let me exit up 5 see what happens okay so it will be having the highest available space okay 
so simply this was the expanded widget now we will see one more widget which is sized box so the sized box is generally used first of all let's simply remove this expanded widgets so the sized box are generally used to provide some space between two widgets okay whether it is a uh, horizontally or vertically so here we are in the row so that's why we will be providing a size box with a width of let's say 50 so we want some space between first two images okay so let's place this size box between them and hot reload it okay we have forgot the comma so as you can see over here that there is a space of 50 per 50 pixels between this two widgets okay so for this purpose we use size box okay to provide some space or you can say it acts as a spacer widget so that's all for this video here we have seen how we can wrap our widgets with expandes and what is the use of size box okay and uh, we have also learned that when to use and when not to use expanded widgets in our flutter applications so in our next video we are going to understand the proper constraints of each widgets and how they affect the size and width according to the parents okay we are going to understand the concept of constraints in deep with proper examples so till then keep practicing and i'll see you in the next video